Hello, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create metal-like materials in Arnold. These are the kind of results we'll be looking for, so let's get started. So in the material editor we first need to get a new material and change standard to Arnold material built-in material standard surface like so so as you can see here we've got quite a few options the first option we're going to look at is base color this will dictate which metal we're going to create for an example, let's create a gold. So under basic parameters and then base color, we're going to change that to a orangey yellow. Like so. So it's going to be a very yellowy gold. Next, we need to scroll down to specular reflections and we have a new option under here called metalness we want to change that to one and as you can see it's given quite a strong metallic reflection to our base color so this is the basic setup for a metal however we're going to go into a little bit more depth in a second so i'm just going to drag this onto this teapot here and do a render. I will cut back to when the render is complete. As you can see now our steel teapot has now turned to gold. However there are a few more settings that affect how we can turn an object to make it look more metallic. For instance, these are high, very highly glossed metals. However, the uh, copper here has slightly less reflection than, say, this gold or this silver. And the way we do that is by going into specular reflections and turning the roughness up so as you can see here as I turn the roughness up the focal point of the reflection gets wider so if I do another a render of this we're gonna see the difference and here is the result so as you can see Unlike before, where we had a lot of reflections, by increasing the roughness, we have buffed out the reflection slightly. This makes the gold look a little bit more worn than the finely polished material of before. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope this has helped you. Thank you for listening. If you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and add in the comments any kind of tutorial that you'd like to see in the future. Thank you. And add in the comments any kind of tutorial that you'd like to see in the future. Thank you. To get reflections on your materials, the way this is achieved is by pressing 8 on the keyboard. and then in environment maps you have to put a JPEG or a HDRI file with an image and that allows that image to be reflected in your materials this is the end of this tutorial please subscribe and add in the comments any tutorials you would like to see in the future thank you